previously on Dance Academy. Oliver topped second year last year. Do you think there's anything you can teach him? I don't play favourites, but he was my first long-term patient. Still sends flowers on my birthday. And your dad? He hung around long enough to change a couple of nappies and then he lost interest. You know how I said we can't be friends? You're breaking the rules, dude. When I kissed you, that's something I wanted to do for a long time. I know where my dad is. I choose not to have anything to do with him. The thing is this, when you don't know where you come from, you have all these questions about your mannerisms, your failures, even the stuff you're okay at. You don't know if they're inherited from someone you never knew or whether they belong to you. Forget books. Forget blogging. This is how stories were told for thousands of years. The body was the pen and paper. All right, you have an assignment. Every single one of us has a unique story, a history that's shaped us. I want you guys to choose one of these defining moments in your life and I want you to perform it to the class on Thursday. So this past that never really existed for you, that you're angry about, ends up having this whole weight attached to it. Like if you knew what it was, then it would tell you who you are. Hey, Kat, hey. Uh, spare seat, if you want. Ah, uh, stupid me. I forgot my point shoes back in the studio. Um, <laughs> they're hanging out of your bag. Stay, seriously. I'm taking the Zen approach. What happened is in the past. If you guys want to be together, be together. I'm still a cheerleader for love. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, yeah, me too. Christian! Maybe you want to talk to me about your dance piece? Yeah, why? Well, Miss Rain mentioned you haven't always had the easiest time of it. You guys must be lying on for conversation then. I'm getting a sense you're not into this assignment. No, I want to thank you for letting me work through some of my past issues. Best teacher ever. Ah, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't believe it. You made it to the end of the tour without getting kicked off again. Uh, only just. And if gods can understand nudity in fountains, why can't Miss Rain? <laughs> well, she is, however, letting me compete in the free. How? You missed the preliminaries. Yeah, yeah, I missed them in Sydney, but the regional rounds are still underway, and since I was technically born in the Kingston Shire... I smell loophole. Mm, I just have to get up the coast. Ideally in a red car. Oh! Oh! Hey, I'm borrowing your torch. Where are you off to? Kingston. Regionals. Yep, we were up for that. With aromatherapy. Do you want to get eaten alive by mosquitoes? Is there any extra room in the car? There's a guy that makes finless boards up there. Wouldn't mind checking one out. <sighs> Can anyone say road trip? Yeah, lip 
pull out this assignment every year and nothing's original. Two other guys aside from me did the whole coming out to mum and dad number. And worse still, one of them went through a cross-dressing stage, so he danced both the part of Clara and the prince and got the highest mark. <laughs> I was ropeable. How did your parents take it when you came out? Well, that's probably a bit too personal. No, nah, that nah, was cool, it was cool. Um, I mean, I just always knew, and I guess they did too. That's why I was annoyed at myself for using it in the assignment, like since when had being gay defined me. It just says to record a narration of our story and, and then just put it to music. Okay, I'm 12 years old. It hasn't rained in months, and suddenly there's a sun shower. I'm dancing inside of a rainbow. No, I, I think they mean powerful, life-defining moments. Like the rage I felt when I was blackmailed to leave the Royal Ballet. I didn't know that happened. Or the desperation when I tried to save the kids next door from drowning. Or the fury when I was arrested at the G20 summit protest. You were, you were arrested? Oh, yeah, no, 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 I get that. It's exactly how I felt during round 23 of the 2001 season. Rage, desperation, fury. But then the triumph in the 64th minute with that wide pass from Peden. Why do you do that? For what? Show people that one-sided version of yourself. I don't know what you're on about. I think you do, Ben. Uh, mate, come a bit closer. All these tents looking like a good option. Nah. We're more in touch with the elements out here. All right, we're done. Let's go check out that surfboard guy. Uh, I was getting, I was just going to head down to the beach instead. Beach? then you would have come out here for nothing. Why well, don't you have that class section in the afternoon? Yeah, but we'll, we'll be back in time. What about putting in some training? What is it you think you know? Um, at the hospital, one of the nurses said that you were her patient. <laughs> That'd be Meg. Loves a chat. Can I ask? I was five. I didn't know what leukemia meant. Seven years worth of treatment later, I went into remission. That's when I started dancing. It must be so exhausting having to keep a secret like that. People just, they get weird when they know. I don't think Grace would be weird. She's been through a lot as well. What? like the drowning of children in riots. Tell me you've convinced her to go less flowery. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about changing my solo, basing it on being a cancer survivor. Cancer? Why didn't I think of that? You know, I could make it wider for you, you know, add a bit more buoyancy. You know, it just depends what you want. I'd probably take a little bit off this for you, given your sizing and your weight. Um, I mean, you know, you can have any choice of tail, whatever you like, but I'd probably like to have a few speed channels through here as well, and then give it a, a nice design, good spray job, and, uh, you know, all right? Just excuse me for a sec. Um, I'm done, so let's go. Could I help you, fellas? Yeah, um, I was thinking of getting one of those layers made. All right, you uh, know much about them? They're supposed to give you more freedom in how you turn. Yeah, well, I custom build all my own boards, so uh, if you want to meet me down the beach, we can go for a surf and uh, see which one suits. Yeah, sure, all right. Say, uh, what, about an hour? What's your name? Chris. All right, Chris. See you then. So, Chris, what was that about? Been stuck in the car too long. Feel like a run? Oh, really? <sighs> Imprisoned in the leukemia ward, I'm a red blood cell, staring down a team of white. They are advancing, and I try to stay defiant. 
but I can't help but feel there is no hope in sight. I am red, one, white, many. I am losing the fight. It's, it's powerful. Grace? Brad's a little earnest. No, no, it's, it's poignant and honest. What'd you think of him? Who? That guy in the shop. He's my father. What? Isn't your, your father father? As in biologically, yeah. Are you gonna tell him who you are? Wait, I, I don't understand. How do you know? I knew he was here. It was as good a time as any. That's a fairly lofty finding moment, Christian. You ready to go? Thank you. That completes the class section. We look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for your solos. You need to relax, all right? Just a bit of this. <laughs> Don't! You know, I never thought you'd be one of those. One of what? Sir, Marubra, mostly. I'll probably get you a longer board then. Stop you sliding. is going to demolish Ben's wimpy blood cells. I think I'm having a dance high. It's just one minute your piece is about saving the kids next door from drowning and the next it's about a house fire and a baby. Visually stronger. People are supposed to be opening up about what defines them. And that defines you, does it, Paddle? Yeah. You might have been the girl in the paddock, but she's gone. You haven't been her since you broke your back. And you're not okay with Kat and Christian. You're still angry. If I had to choose between a bit of harmless fabrication and lying to myself, I know which one I'd go for. So what got you into Finless? Oh, that's what the Hawaiians used to ride. Hawaii. See, I'd love to get over there, take some time out. Get away from everybody. Sounds like girl problems. <laughs> yeah. Nah, she's cool. It's just, just the situation is complicated. Yeah, it's always complicated. Well, you too, you ought to be tied down anyway. Was that your problem? 
Sorry? You were too young to be tied down to a wife and kids. Is that why you left? Christian, I knew who you were when you walked in. I don't know what you want me to say, I mean... You just showed up. You don't have to say anything. He's living a good life. How messed up is that after everything she went through? I mean, she never got over him. Right up until the end, and he never looked back. All right, um, Ollie's tent is looking like a good option. Do you like him? Or something because you're avoiding him? No! And... No! He lied. By omission. Hey, he should have mentioned it. That's mentionable. Uh-huh. Because you said you were going to be working that stuff out. Working out what stuff? Excuse me, we're trying to have a personal conversation here. All right, wait, both of you get in here before you drown. Don't worry, I'm not into the neurotic type. cheerleading tryouts? Yeah, in detail. You skipped your doctor's appointment that day. Was that... was that too? Biopics about cancer and genocide always get the Academy Awards. You'll get fantastic marks. That is what I've been trying to avoid. What? That. It's what I've enjoyed about being here this year. I'm not cancer boy. What's, what's wrong with digging deeper? I don't want to dig deeper. Because if I do, uh, I have to remember the look on my dad's face when we wait for my results. And I have to remember when someone died in my ward and, and no one would speak for ages. I'm sorry. No! I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I've spent half my life making everyone miserable. It's not who I am anymore. Are you throwing your weight back? What have I told you about your landing? You can't instruct me from up there. Well, I wouldn't want to invade your personal space. I stuffed it yesterday. I'm not going to make it to nationals. Mate, you're going to use your plie. Then you'll be fine. Watch. It used to blow me away to watch your mum dance. Same. Trish must be so proud. She died. 18 months ago. She was sick. I looked after her. Did you ever even love her? More than I've ever been capable of loving anyone. But you left. How can you love someone and then just do that to them. I know it's not an excuse, but I was 19 years old when I married your mum. I wasn't equipped to handle any of it. I had to work out who I was. Well, did you figure it out? Because she needed you and you weren't there. We all did. Look, I, I just watched you dance just now and, and you were amazing. You think you needed me, but 
Look what you became without me. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Okay. I kind of lied before. I do like the neurotic ones. <laughs> so I guess when it comes down to it, I want my future to define me, not my past. Yeah, that's it. You got okay, fellas. Hey. I found this in the back of the shed. Might slide a little bit, but uh, we should be all right. Look, I don't have any money. I wonder who I'd be if the people I needed had stuck around. Who I'd be without all those things that have tested me. More than I'll ever be tested in my life. Without the one whose heart I broke, or the one who makes me forget about the dark stuff. Hi, look, don't worry about me. Okay, we, we can just ignore the fact that Tara's given us permission. Because she lights up everything. Even, even if there was a moment, we've probably missed it now anyway, so it's, there's really no point in even... Have you back, gentlemen? Someone I wouldn't mind introducing to the rest of my life. Call me Christian Reed.
None of you are going to sleep until your side is spotless. What's the face was I don't want to hear any excuses. And you two don't even pretend that you've been fishing. Oh, um... In that case, you have broken curfew. Put that down. Pick up a mop. Another strike. There'll be more to come. We're always one step ahead. Particularly where ballet's concerned. We would thrash you any day. Are you threatening a ballet battle? There's no such thing. A hip-hop war, then. Second year crew versus the ballet tragics. Saturday afternoon, 12.45 at the cafe. We're done here. Let's bounce. They're well oiled. I'll give them that much. Oh, sorry. How is it possible you just slept through that? Let me guess. Christian? Because you're not going to see him for like a whole six hours. Ha ah. ha. Look at you. You're addicted. I'm not addicted. Your pupils are permanently dilated. You made him your phone wallpaper. Uh, coming from the girl who spoons her Pilates mat. Admitting you have a problem is the first step to recovery, Kat. Tara. I was extremely disappointed that you were involved in last night's idiocy. It, it's not like I had an option. To be distracting yourself when your recovery has put you so far behind. You need to get your priorities in order. Are you just going to take that? What happened to us finding your inner anger? Miss Rain's right. I need to put my head down, work harder. Are you thick, woman? You exposed an abusive teacher and your dad is a phone call away from suing the academy. If that's not a get-out-of-jail-free card, I don't know what it is. So, so we're not one of those, those vomit-inducing couples. So I was thinking maybe we should introduce some guidelines for behaviour. Guidelines. It could be fun. Mm. Just on obvious stuff like, like a limit on PDAs and, and no holding hands. We're, we're both... Capable of walking unaccompanied? I'll give you two hours before you crack. You're not that irresistible. Comrades, let us rally together. Mandatory hip-hop training session. War site, lunch. Since you're all so keen on warring, we're doing Spartacus today in repertoire. Except you, Tara, I want to slow technical bar. Air one, air two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a one. Are you going to be on our side? Pointless question. She wouldn't dare betray her boyfriend. Uh, I'm sorry, but do you see him attached to this hip? I could cross lines if I wanted to. And I'm exceptional at hip hop. That might be the best chance you guys have. Keep your swords strong. They need to be an extension of your line. Was that meant to be a protest, Tara? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I'll have to get maintenance. Everyone else, keep working until I return. Can you trust me when I say it's time to get less serious? You deserve some fun. At risk of further inflating your ego, you're the best hip-hop dancer here. No offense, Christian. Stop. I'm blushing. We're gonna need someone to judge the battle and possibly give us some coaching on the side. Your exam, Joby to Kingston. Oh, he's an accommodating guy. <laughs> he has a crush on me. I'm homophobe to man crush exploiter. I'm making some progress. I'm not exploiting you. We're just mates. <laughs> I 
I think we just witnessed our battle winning move. Yeah, all three of us. Where's the rest of the platoon? Fellas? Oliver, you were due for our debrief 10 minutes ago. The kids, sir, they needed me. Mate, you're gonna struggle to graduate unless you clean up your attendance. Mate, if you're too busy for this, I don't want you back on the teacher's hit list. I never left it. And even if I had, I couldn't think of a worthier course. Hey, cool. Okay, crew, why don't we start with a head slide? It's like a front chasse on your face. Abigail, you have to help us. The second you don't appreciate you like we do. Ladies of Crumb. Dude, the enemy's invaded. Secret first year training. Say as so, cat. Technically, I am a first year. And Abigail? I'm sure your usual aversion to team sports still applies. No. I like competition. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right. Plie. Then isolate your rib cage, Devon. Center, derriere. Now pop it. Center, derriere. Then do like a rom de jam with your rib cage, so round. Good. Now do the same thing and pop it. You realize what's going on, right? Second year is imploding. There's no love anymore. So we throw a bonding party. This is Ted's off tomorrow night. Hip hop themed. I like it. Tweet it. How many texts do you send without a reply before it becomes pathetic? Hey, oh, one. Can't I be less serious in my own clothes? Spartacus is sent into the gladiatorial ring and forced to kill his best friend. It is only then, horrified by his actions, that he incites his fellow captives into rebellion. So... Oh, Tara. Sorry, Miss Husted. Tara's back was aching. She needed extra time to stretch. For a dance history class. Take a seat. Act two begins with the escaped captives celebrating their freedom. Tara? Dr. Weeks said that when the pain gets really bad, I should, I should walk it off. Well, then I think you should just keep on walking back to Dr. Weeks's office. I'll take her. Make sure she gets there safely. for another break session, because I'd love an excuse to ditch part of the... Actually, I'm a bit flat out today, and we have to stage that team building exercise. Oh, you should come. Yeah, but it's for second years only, remember? Anyway, thanks for your, thanks for your help, dude, but you've probably got your own stuff to get on with, so... No worries. Mm. Little harsh. Yeah, well, consider my exploiting days over. just realised, it's me, isn't it? You keep going out with all my roommates so you can get closer to me. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm taking you to a party. Oh, no, but I'm with the first years now. I really... Oh, OK. Christian. Oh. You break her heart like you broke Tara's, I'll hurt you. Oh, here he is. How you going? Oh, sorry. 
sorry, we well, wait, meant to dress up. No. But look. Twist it. I have a surprise for you. Orange juice. Fun orange juice. Oh, right. Don't get serious on me again. No, no, I'm not. It's just, I once had this box of chocolates, you know, with liquid centers and, wow, it was a head spin. <laughs> Let's get this party started! Yeah! <laughs> that is twisted. I am a human pretzel! <laughs> right hand green. Okay, I appreciate that you can't live without him, but I need you on mingling. I, I can live without him. I love you. I've created a monster. <laughs> you know what? I am totally gonna fresh somebody tonight. Ooh. Hi, Ben. Hey, hey. No, no more of this, no. <laughs> Sammy! Hi, Sammy. Hi. I'm not gonna fresh Sammy. <laughs> Did you do this? We just saw the first years with fire hoses. Check out there. Only. How's your hot tub in there? Sorry, could I borrow my girlfriend for a second? Can I still call you that? Of course you can. I'm sorry. I just, I meant it about dialing things down. I thought we were cool. Um, I do think Christian looks happy. I don't think Christian looks happy. If you want um, to I, I think he's just going through some stuff and meeting his dad for the first time. And what? What did you just say? Nothing, I... Well, say. He met his dad no. when? You said you didn't want to see your dad and then you broke up with me because I found your dad and now you visited him? Okay, how about we don't do this now? How about let's? T, come on, come outside, talk to me. I don't to want me. to talk to you ever again. I'll take her upstairs. No, no, I'm dancing with Ben, because Ben likes me, don't you, Ben? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, Yay! Uh, let's go outside. <laughs> oh, we're kissing outside! <laughs> stand up, stand up. <laughs> you smell like rainforest, Drew. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Oh. Over here. Sit, sit down. Sorry. It's, it's totally fine. I hear there's a party. Um, yeah. It's not very good. Miss Rain's coming! Miss Rain's coming! Drain the hot tub! Whoa, guys. Drain the guys. hot tub! Where are you going? Don't go. We was gonna tell Miss Rain it was a bonding exercise. That was the single most awesome night of my life. <laughs> Sorry, comrade. I think the war's over. You're still on probation, Tara. I don't understand why you'd risk everything again. You obviously don't care about your place here. I do care. You don't care about me, not anymore. I think you're in no state to assess that right now. More water. You didn't stick up for me. After I told you about Saskia, all you cared about was protecting the academy. You can put me on detention for life. I deserve it, but... Yes, you do. But I should have listened. I was wrong too. Although a note for next time, this is not the best way to get my attention. Come on.
Holly. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. What's up? What's up? You're meant to be on our side. I'm an unbiased judge evening out the playing field. And last time I checked, I didn't owe you anything. We were just mates, right? Right. but I can't see one shred of unity here. Oh. In here, now. Oh, no, I really... Now. OK, I'm talking and no one's leaving here until I'm done. In 15 minutes, we're meant to have this hip-hop battle. And as far as I can tell, none of you are planning on showing. Let's not. Then they'll know we're too cool to care. Oh, OK. We can be so cool that we never talk to each other again either. We have four months left of second year. Third year's only going to be harder. And this war's not about us beating the first years. It's about us being there for each other. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's something that's worth fighting for. Come with me. So is this battle still on or what? Are the judge? Nope. It's a well-established fact that too much of me gets annoying. I'm annoying myself right now. So you've been protecting me? I'm protecting me. If I get too addicted to this and then you change your mind, I don't know how I'll handle that. I'm not planning on going anywhere. You can't promise that. It's after time. They forfeit. off orange juice forever, can we just leave it at that? I just, I can't kiss someone unless it means something. It's not how I roll. You take it seriously, me too. Uh, I think our rebellious Tara is going back in her box. No! <laughs> Listen up. All battles are your own style. I'll tell you when to step down. Let's do this! Yeah! Maybe when the boys back home were playing their war games, 
I missed the point. It wasn't about pretending to destroy each other. It was about being united against a common enemy. Being on the same side regardless of what's happened or what will happen. Relying on the members of your battalion. Because that's the only way you're going to make it out the other end. Alive. In Pas de Deux, there are trust exercises they make us do. Which is a bit sad because if trust was a given, then you wouldn't need exercises. Please, Abigail, come on! You'd believe someone when they say, Must you whine like that? There's plenty of hot water left. Abigail! And be able to tell the truth in every situation. You told your friends about this. I didn't think it was a secret. No, it isn't. Anymore. In part of her, it's usually fear that stops you from trusting your partner. Unless they've dropped you before. Hi. Then it's learning from experience. What's the schedule like today? Uh, first up, inappropriate PDA. Pick up. <laughs> and then avoid being run over by a dude who can't read pedestrians only. Hey, not a bad place if you live in the city. What are you doing here? I thought, didn't I text you? No. Oh, well, I thought I'd take some time off. I'm going to take a wild stab. You're Christian. This is Raf. Oh, right, well, I'm Kat. It's nice to meet you. You too. I should probably find a car park or something. There is one down there we can show you if you like. Ah, uh, no, we've got to get to class with. Running a bit late, so. Well, uh, we should catch up later if that's all right. Yeah, sure. I'm sure it was his dad, and Kat was there introducing herself in like a girlfriend capacity, and I was fine about it. Congratulations, chicken. We have closure. Exactly. I miss Kat and I think she misses me. So now things can go back to the way they were. Christian, you are killing me. That is a fraction of what you're capable of. Right, I think we all need something to get us over this mid-semester slump. So this weekend, you're going to be learning circus skills from seasoned pros. The weekend including Sunday. Why would you desecrate our one day off? It's going to teach you about trusting your bodies and trusting each other. Stuff which I think is very important for you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, guys, boarding house, six o'clock, important announcement. Sammy, I have to sort out this thing. It's cool, you've, you've lived it. Uh, Abigail, yeah? Uh, no excuses, okay? Mate, I uh, wasn't feeling a whole lot of enthusiasm back there. You're gonna have to lift it up a notch if you plan on winning the nationals. Winning? Then representing Australia, the pre. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm going to need some help from your end. Thanks for being so prompt, guys. Is popcorn appropriate? So I wanted to tell you the inner sanctum before you found out through anybody else. Uh, I'm seeing Ollie. <laughs> And he is gorgeous. I knew it. I have the best gay da. You have no da. And I didn't say I was gay, I just have a boyfriend. Kind of hetero flexible. Cool. Mm. Can't believe I wasted studio time for this. I guess so who asked who out? I'm suffering details deprivation. I can't believe you're all accepting it so easily. Tara, are you shocked? Because you're looking kind of shocked. I have always wanted a gay best friend. <laughs> hey. What do you think? Doesn't run yet, but uh, it's yours if you want it. You already got me a surfboard. I don't think you can buy me 17 years of neglect. Well, that's a relief, because I don't have any money. No, this is a mate of mine's, and uh, he's trying to get rid of it. You want to do me a favor and see if you can start it? 
Yep, put the clutch in there, kick down hard on there. Right, I'll hop off for a sec. How's school going? Yeah, it's fine. There's this teacher, Zach. He, um, he's got all these high expectations for me. He wants me to be his personal project. Yeah, I've never coped well with people like that. You keep your expectations low, and no one ever gets disappointed. I can't believe that was your first coming out. Averaged one a week at the Royal. Kat, um, we're doing this circus thing this weekend. It sounds really fun. Except I think it's the second year's only team. No, Zach's all about inclusion. I'm, I'm sure we can win him over. I mean, only if you want to come. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure I have a sequin leotard somewhere. See you tomorrow. Everyone meet Charlie, acrobat and uh, wife extraordinaire. <laughs> nice work, Zach. Well, I'm going to be more like your flight attendant this weekend. Your safety is my first priority. Any questions? Ballet kids, no idea what they're in for. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Use those arms. Yeah. Oh, boys, looking great. That's great, guys. Remember your core strength. Mm. My tummy's already cramping. Snap, we're in sync. That happens, doesn't it, Sammy? What? You get your period the same time as your best friend. Best. Yeah, only anecdotally. It's never been proven. But why are you asking me that? Okay, Ben, Christian, you guys come with me, all right? Me too, Zach. Uh, ladies, you're outside with Charlie. Wow. So the trapeze. Trapeze is all about the bond that you have with your flyer. Now this connection is vital because when you're performing without a net, you're putting your neck in someone else's hands. You should go up there with Grace. Oh, I doubt we're that compatible, connectivity-wise. You have heaps in common. You're both... Blonde. You'll like her, once you spend more time with her. OK, so who's going to be my first pair? Yeah, um, Grace, are you going to be catcher? Come on. No trapeze for you. I'm not interested in teamwork. Hey, what do you think it means when they equate me with hula hoops? Look, I'd, I'd try and suck you out, but it's unnecessary. Have another go. Can I be on that? Like, this is boring. Have you ever heard of Philippe Petit? No. The man hooked a cable up between the New York Twin Towers, walked it for 45 minutes with no harness, 104 storeys up. And uh, since you said it was boring, you can keep going till you get to the other side. <laughs> hey. Yeah, now is a good time. Okay, right, that's good, Grace. I am a fruit bat. That's all about timing, okay? That's it. It's a big leap. Here we go. Don't you trust me? <laughs> Ooh. 
So you made it across the tightrope? Ah, uh, yeah, I grew as a person. No, I'm not going to be able to cross that. That's the thing, I think you will. You just need to commit yourself. Christian, give your dad uh, raps here. G'day, I'm Zach. Hey. Uh, you're welcome to stick around and watch if you like. No, we've got some family things to do today. Uh, yeah. I might uh, drag him away for the afternoon, if that's cool. Of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Great. Great, guys. Thanks. It's been a long time since I've wagged school. You got it running? Yeah. Take you wherever you want to go. Or we could do something. Okay. Make sure you push with your feet, guys. Take the pressure off your knees. Zach. Zach. Yeah? I want to do that. What, the no rap safe, mate? That's too advanced for you. I know I used to be weedy. I acknowledge that, but I've been working out. Yeah, I know. You just have different skill sets. What about juggling, mate? You were born to be a clown. Juggling? Isn't this meant to be about extending ourselves? All right, how are you with heights? Get mad for them. Can't get enough. Come on, T, you're literally leaving me hanging. Talk in that voice. Cat. Sorry. It's just, as the best friend, you think she'd understand why you might be worried about getting injured. Grace does understand. She was there for me through all of it. Yeah, unlike you, who made it worse. And there it is. Huh. Great jump to my defense, T. Have you forgiven me, or is this just punishment in close proximity? I'm sorry. I honestly thought that if I was over Christian... But it's what you did. One kiss. You guys were broken up. No, you liked him the whole time I was with him. And before that, you lied to me. I want to forgive you. But, but you can't. So, so what? We're, we're never going to be friends again? I guess not. I can't. It's okay, just fall like I taught you. He's having a moment. Relax, unwind, so to speak. Yeah, why not just plummet to my death? Sammy, you were the one that begged to do this. Really? He hates heights. Wow. Still breathing? Come on. Apart from the lady screams, that was impressive. Get away from me, all right? So how do you get your learner's permit for a bike? Well, you got to do a written test first. I could take it tomorrow if you want. I remember when I first got my license. 
took this trip down to Tassie. Thinking about getting back down there in November. November? Hmm. I finished second year around then. Zach thinks I'll be in this big competition final, but you know, that doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, but it's like way more pressure than I'm keen on. Tells you it could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, if you wanted to come, for sure. Cat. Hey. Yeah, I'm just hanging out with my dad. Ness and Will, what do you think of our career assessment? Hey, can I just talk to you for a second? Sure. Will's organizing a futsal team if you can. Yeah, I wasn't ready to tell our friends about us. Okay, did they take it badly? It's irrelevant. You should have asked me before making it public. Look, I know this is a big deal for you, but trust me, it's better to rip off the band-aid. You don't want to be sneaking around. Yeah, well, maybe I was comfortable with the Band-Aid. You know, a bit of time to figure out whether I wanted to alter my entire life. But no, thank you for deciding that for me. It's premature anyway. Shortest relationship ever. You should come watch me get my learners today. You can help me cheat. Um, no, no, you spend time with your dad. Does that sound weird? My dad? It sounds awesome. And, um, you're right to go back to the circus. I'm not gonna be pushed out. Running away and joining the circus has always been my backup plan, so... So I've heard it, right. <laughs> I gotta go. Good Bye. luck. Thank you. You've been quite on the love front lately. Anybody in your sights? Why? I, well, I broke up with Ollie last night, so we're both available, you know? What's wrong with you at the moment? Nothing. Yep. Ah, oh, okay, so you don't see me as a contender now either. I go out with a guy for half a second and suddenly I'm not one of the guys anymore. I'm sensitive Sammy. Wake up, Lieberman. That's who you've always been. I have? Yeah, that was until you sat me down, your ex-girlfriend, in front of a room full of people to tell me you now have a boyfriend. Like, without any consideration how that would affect me. Suddenly not so sensitive. You don't get deeps on feeling betrayed, Tara. Please, can we just not? Yes. I liked Christian all that time, okay, but I tried to make it go away because hurting you is the equivalent of cutting off my own arm. But that doesn't go both ways, does it? You are the one that ended our friendship. Like, it never meant anything. So you don't get dibs on feeling betrayed. Hey, Christian. I ran into Raph in the car park. He asked me to give you this. Hey, good, you, uh, you caught me. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to get in the way. I know you've got a lot to do. I guess it wouldn't involve getting my learners today, would it? Yeah, look, I, I'm not the best teacher. Sorry, it's just, 
Sydney's a bit full on. Sure. If I'm doing something this summer, I'll, uh, I'll give you a text, all right? When I broke my back, there was a good chance the fracture might never heal. I'm not going to drop you. And a very small chance that the bone would end up stronger than it was before. must have been on my side. Because I no longer have a best friend. I have something stronger. A sister. Who I would trust with my life. I think that's why we do trust exercises. Ollie, wait up! Because most of the time the problem isn't only with the other person. My friends, they weren't... They weren't shocked or, or outraged. That was, that was only me. I just don't want to be someone who has a boyfriend. Sammy, dude, you never had a boyfriend. You had an Ollie. Stop making him sound generic. <laughs> Did you just talk about yourself in third person? <laughs> so we're good, right? We're good. The hardest part of part of is trusting yourself to trust someone else. Zach, stop trying to make me your project. I don't need you telling me to win nationals. Because that's just not me, right? Sure. Except you came all the way over here to say that. Maybe I'm not cut out to commit to anything. Maybe I just want to walk away from all of it. I don't think so, mate. I don't think that's you at all. You need someone there to steady you, to put their faith in you, so you can be extraordinary. <laughs>